Good afternoon, and thank you for all being here. I want to thank the president for uh, hosting today's ceremony and, and for once again personally presenting the awards. I'm told that the President Trump has now done this for three consecutive years, which no other president has done, and I think that speaks volumes for his uh, personal commitment uh, and the commitment of his administration uh, to our law enforcement officers and our first responders. The Medal of Valor. Yeah. <clears throat> The Medal of Valor is the nation's highest and most prestigious award for public safety officers. Of the more than two million uh, who serve every day across the country, only about a dozen receive this honor each year. All first responders do noble work and all of them deserve our support and our appreciation, but some have performed heroic acts of service that deserve to be singled out for recognition by the entire nation. The men we honor this afternoon have come from every corner of this nation and from a wide variety of backgrounds, but they all share the same spirit of love for their communities and a willingness to sacrifice of themselves. They were nominated by their police chiefs and by their fire chiefs and then recommended by a review board of their peers. Several of the review board members are here today, and I'd like to thank all of them for their participation in this process. Every Medal of Valor recipient has confronted life-threatening danger. Each has had their fight or flight moment, and each one has stood their ground for our safety. We hold them up today as an example for other first responders and to all Americans. As we honor the recipients who are here today, we especially remember two of this year's recipients who gave their lives in the line of duty. Officer Verdell Smith of Memphis and Officer Brent Thompson of Dallas. They gave their lives so that others might live. On behalf of the Department of Justice, I'd like to offer my condolences and our gratitude to their families, friends, and fellow officers. This afternoon, I'm reminded of something that President John F. Kennedy once said, a nation reveals itself not only by the men it produces, but by the men it honors and the men it remembers. In these heroes we honor today, the greatness of this nation shines forth. And so, to all of the recipients, thank you for dedicating your lives to this noble work, and may God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Attorney General. It's great. Appreciate it. I welcome everyone to the White House, very special places. We award our very bravest law enforcement officers and firefighters our nation's highest public safety award, the Medal of Valor. Congratulations. It's a great award. Also joining us for the ceremony is Deputy Attorney General Jeff Rosen. Jeff, and congratulations. <laughs> Along with a friend of mine, great Senator Rob Portman. Rob, thank you. <laughs> and representative and one of the best hockey players you'll ever see, Pete Starber. Pete, thank you very much. <laughs> to the heroes we honor today, this afternoon, we express the gratitude and pride of our nation for your immortal acts of courage. To the families who join us, you carry a great burden so that our citizens can live in safety and in peace. We cherish and thank each and every one of you. Here with us today is Trooper Nicholas Cedarberg from Oregon State Police. Where is Nicholas? Good. That's what I thought. On Christmas night of 2016, Nick was with his family when he got a call that a man in the nearby neighborhood of King City had shot and killed a woman 
and was now speeding through the city streets very dangerously. Nick raced to find him and soon located the murderer and chased him into a dead-end road. The suspect made a U-turn, rammed right into Nick's car, and then immediately opened fire. Nick thought he had it, but he didn't, because Nick was shot in the hip, very badly injured, laid on the ground amid a barrage of gunfire. He kept firing back, preventing the shooter from escaping until other officers arrived. That Christmas night, Nick took 12 bullets. After a very tough recovery, Nick survived. And Trooper Cedarberg, we are very honored to have you with us in the White House. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you. He looks awfully good. Twelve bullets. It looks good if he took no bullets, you know? Some pretty good doctors, I guess, right? Great job. Also with us today is Officer Alan Horoshka of the Ohio State University Police. On November 28, 2016, an ISIS-inspired terrorist sped into a crowd of students at Ohio State. I remember that. He then got out of his car and chased them with a knife. Alan ran to the scene and yelled at the man to drop his knife. The man charged toward Allen after doing a lot of damage to others. But Allen shot him and killed him immediately. Thanks to Allen's swift action, not a single innocent person that day died. Some very badly injured people, however. Officer Horeshka, we are forever grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This afternoon, we also honor two incredible firefighters, Captain Dustin Moore and Firefighter Andrew Friesner of the Lenexa Fire Department in Kansas. In April of 2016, Dustin and Andrew responded to an apartment fire where they learned that a family was trapped on the second floor. It was looking very bad. Dustin and Andrew climbed up a ladder to the balcony of the apartment and raced into a blinding hail of smoke and deadly heat. They found a woman who was unconscious and two small children and carried them all to safety. Captain Moore and Firefighter Friesner, you made a tremendous difference, and you make all Americans proud. It's a great job. Thank you very much. Great job. save those lives. Today, we also recognize eight law enforcement officers from Azusa, California, Tommy Avila, Manuel Campos, Seth Chapman, Carlos Peslenzia. I didn't get that great, Carlos, but not bad. <laughs> Where's Carlos? Come on, I owe you one. <laughs> Andrew Rodriguez, Terry Smith, Xavier Torres and Rocky Wenrick. Thank you, fellas. That's fantastic. fantastic. These officers responded to a call of a crazed man firing at citizens near a voting site on November 8, 2016. When they arrived, Carlos and Xavier raced through a hail of bullets to save a woman who had been shot in the head. At the same time, Terry, Andrew, and Seth returned fire. Tommy, Rocky, and Manuel drew the gunman out of his house, enabling their fellow officers to shoot him and to bring the rampage to an end. Very dangerous situation. To each of you, you represent the unity, devotion, teamwork, and swift action that makes America's law enforcement the best and bravest anywhere in the world. Well done, and I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. And earlier today, in a private ceremony, I was profoundly honored to present the Medal of Valor to the families of two fallen officers 
who made the supreme sacrifice in the line of duty, Sergeant Verdell Smith, and Officer Brent Thompson. Sergeant Smith was a member of the Memphis Police Department. In June 2016, a gunman was speeding toward a busy intersection downtown. As Sergeant Smith cleared the street, the attacker struck and fatally injured Sergeant Smith. I want to just thank uh, Sergeant Smith's family. Where are you? We just left. Where are you? Sergeant Smith's family. Thank you. Thank you, Tom, very much. Thank you. On July 7, 2016, Dallas police officer Brent Thompson was on duty during a large protest against law enforcement that soon turned violent when a gunman opened fire on the police. Brent charged across the three-lane road and fired on the shooter. Brent was killed instantly in the firefight, but his active courage saved many lives, many, many lives. An attack on our police is an attack upon our entire nation. Through their sacrifice, Sergeant Smith and Officer Thompson defeated evil men with the goodness and bravery of true American heroes. We are eternally grateful in their debt. Thank you very much. It's really great. Every officer, firefighter, and first responder who receives this award embodies the highest ideals of service and sacrifice, character and courage, love and loyalty. Your lives of patriotism, your devotion to duty, and your deeds of valor lift up our entire nation. Today and every day, we thank God that you were there when our communities needed you the most. And we want to thank you all, and God bless you. God bless law enforcement, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now I'd like to ask the military aide to come forward and read the citations as I present these incredible and very brave recipients with the Medal of Valor. Thank you. Senior Trooper Nicholas Cedarberg. The Medal of Valor is presented to Senior Trooper Nicholas Cedarberg of the Oregon State Police for taking brave and decisive action to bring a murderer to justice on Christmas night, 2016. After an extended vehicle chase, Senior Trooper Cedarberg prevented the escape of the killer, placing himself directly in the line of fire and sustaining several life-threatening gunshot wounds. University Law Enforcement Officer Alan Harushko of the Ohio State University Police Division. The Medal of Valor is presented to University Law Enforcement Officer Alan Harushko of the Ohio State University Police Division for single-handedly saving the lives of more than a dozen civilians on the Ohio State University campus by quickly and skillfully neutralizing a violent knife attacker who had plowed his vehicle into a crowd. Fire Captain Dustin Moore and Firefighter Paramedic Andrew Friesner. The Medal of Valor is presented to Fire Captain Dustin Moore and Firefighter Paramedic Andrew Friesner of the Lenexa, Kansas Fire Department for braving a furious fire and billowing smoke at great personal risk.
to rescue the occupants of a burning apartment building who were within minutes of perishing from the flames. Retired Lieutenant Xavier Torres, Sergeant Seth Chapman, Retired Sergeant Terry Smith Jr., Sergeant Thomas Avila III, Sergeant Rocky Winrick, Retired Corporal Andrew Rodriguez Sr., Senior Officer Carlos Placencia, and Detective Manuel Campos. The Medal of Valor is presented to these men for acting with composure and bravery in the face of life-threatening danger during a mass shooting on Election Day 2016. These courageous officers arrived at the deadly and chaotic scene in Azusa, California, and immediately took command, risking their lives to protect innocent civilians and successfully neutralizing the killer. These are tremendous people. I want to just congratulate everybody. Uh, it's an amazing honor to have you in the White House. Say hello to your families, and thank you all for being here. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.